the Easter story resonates with life and hope and how we desperately need these in our world today. Through the years of the Old Testament, we clung to the hope in the prophecy of a Messiah. Through the silence of the years between the Old and New Testaments, we clung to the hope that God had not forgotten his people or his promise. Then that hope took on flesh and blood in the person of Jesus, and we witnessed for ourselves that God had remembered the cries of his people, confirming that our hope was not in vain. We witness a Jesus who taught and modeled forgiveness and love, who partied with tax collectors and dined with sinners, spoke with women of dubious morals, condemning no one. We see for ourselves a glorious mixture of grace and truth. We are caught in awe and wonder as Jesus turned water into wine, gave sight to the blind and made the lame to walk, cast out demons, healed the leper and controlled the wind and the waves. And we see ourselves exposed to the inexhaustible power of God. So on Good Friday, it appeared as though hope had gone as the life had flowed out of Jesus' body. This irresistible man of captivating parables, insightful teaching, and miracles with the ability to impact the very fabric of the society and the people to the utmost depths of their being was killed on a cross, placed in a tomb. It looked and felt like someone had turned out all the light and put a lid on our hope. Then, something truly remarkable, life-transforming, and world-changing happened. The stone was rolled away, the grave clothes left in a pile because Jesus was alive. The light was once more glorious, more glorious than ever, and our hope found new heights. Easter is not simply a remembrance of something that happened in the past, but as we celebrate it, we remind ourselves that the resurrection life is to be experienced day by day. The pandemic that we are experiencing makes it feel at times similar to Good Friday, as though the light had been turned off and a lid put on our hope. There are many circumstances in life that may cause us to feel like that. Natural disasters, illness, unemployment, divorce, drug addiction, bankruptcy, domestic violence, racism. The life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ reminds us that God is with us in every circumstance. That He is bigger and more powerful than any circumstance. And that God specializes in the miraculous and the impossible. When we have given up on ourselves, God still believes in us. When we feel like we are unloved, God shows us Jesus. When we feel like we have made the biggest mistake of our lives, Jesus provides forgiveness. When we are suffocating in the darkness, God shines his light and his presence. When we are despairing, Jesus provides us hope. You see, the resurrection is about life to the full, abundant, complete, and whole. This resurrection life is a new life because it is life in Christ and as such is free from condemnation. This resurrection life starts the minute we accept Christ as Savior and continues then for all eternity. This resurrection life is dynamic because it's the power of God that is unleashed within us. The change starts on the inside and transforms how we view everything. On that first Easter morning, the disciples were still experiencing Roman occupation and all that came with it. But the realization that Jesus was alive 
and that every promise had been fulfilled changed everything. They now had an eternal view. They understood that sin and death had been conquered, that the kingdom was indeed a spiritual kingdom and a kingdom in which God reigned supreme over everything. Such understanding would change how they viewed and responded to life in this world because of the glorious light of Christ shining in their lives, giving them the hope of eternity. They would never be the same again, just as we will never be the same again if we claim this same resurrection power. May God bless you this Easter as you celebrate the risen Christ and his risen power in your life. Amen.